This is Mahmoud Hassan Meraz. Welcome to another solution tutorial of soil loss. Today we will going to solve this 3D problem. In this 3D problem, this is the isometric view and all the dimensions are given in the isometric view. So first of all, I will draw a rectangle. And this rectangle has a dimension of 90 by 75 unit. Then I will expose it to 100 unit. Then we can see uh, we have a rectangular stud cut here. Okay. And another rectangular stud cut here. And for doing that, Rectangular street cut. I will draw a center line from here, and this center line has a distance of 40 unit. As the total distance is 35 unit, then I'll offset uh, two line. One is here, and another is here. So the offset line distance will be 35 divided by two unit. Then I will close this shape. Then I will draw another rectangular cut here. And for doing that rectangular cut, I will draw first of all. I will draw a center line, and this center line we can see, and the total. Total distance is 100 unit and this lower distance is 60 unit. So this center line distance will be 100 minus 60 unit. So it will be 40 unit. Then we can see we have a to cut of 45 unit. So we will draw two offset line. One is here, another is here, and the offset line distance will be 45 uh, divided by 2 unit. Okay. Then I will close the shape. Then I will to cut both portion, lower and this upper portion. Okay. Then we can. Okay. Let me first draw this portion. So I am selecting the top plane from here. Now sketch. Now select the center rectangle. Place the center rectangle here. And now dimension it to 75 by 90 unit. Okay. Now I submit it for a better view. Now go to features. Now stood boss. Now stood boss it to 100 unit. Sorry. Uh, let me read it. Extrude boss it to 100 unit. Now press OK. So after that, I am selecting this face. Now sketch. Now normal to it. Now select a center line. Place a center line here. And this center line has a dimension of 40 unit. So after that, select the offset entities and select this line. As the total distance, distance is 35 unit. So offset distance will be 35 divided by 2. Make sure to click the bidirectional. Now cap in. Now select the line. Now press OK. After that, again select the center line and place the center line here and draw a center line of uh, 100 minus 60 unit. So it will be center line of uh, 40 unit. Okay. Now select the offset entities and this time the total distance is 45 unit. So the offset will be 45 divided by 2 unit. No, uh, make sure to click bidirectional cap paint and line now press ok now I submit ticket for a better view now go to features now to cut now to cut it to through all both ok is to cutting it to through all both has been done now let's go back to our sketch in our sketch we can see we have a incline line here ok if you see from this side we have an incline line here and this incline line has a distance of from this point to this point it has a distance of 50 unit and uh, from uh, from vertical distance from this point to uh, this point it has a distance of 60 unit then i will close this shape then i will extrude cut after extrude cutting this portion we can see we have a fillet of 18 radius so i will draw a fillet of 18 radius here and a fillet of 18 radius here then we can see we have three circular extrude cut circle though this circle has a dimension of 25 diameter it is distance from 15 unit and by 22.5 unit then we can see we have another extra circle here and this extra circle has a dimension of 20 diameter so it, it is saying that we have two extra circles so this circle also have a dimension of 20 diameter and we can see this circle uh, has a center distance of 20 unit from this line and a horizontal distance of 35 unit from this line okay let's draw this so first of all i am selecting this face now sketch now you can normal to it okay you can normal to it or draw a line or you can isometric it and draw and select line and draw a angle line like here that's uh, in this way you don't have to dimension this line to this point to this here 60 unit otherwise if you draw like normal to you, you don't know why it is this point so you you have to uh, dimension it manually the 60 unit okay so this time I am selecting small dimension. So now I have to dimension this one side. So this one side had a dimension of 50 unit. Okay, this portion has been done. Now 
now select the line tool and place the line here and close the boundary okay if you want to recheck you can see uh, if, we, if we go to dimension the distance from here is here is 60 unit okay now I submit ticket for better view now go to features now is to cut now is to cut it to through all both now press ok so this portion has been done now we can see uh, we have a circular cut here so I'm selecting this face now sketch now normal tweet now select a circle tool from here and place the circle here and draw a circle of 25 diameter after that select this my dimension tool select this circle circle to the, uh, this horizontal line the distance is 22.5 unit okay and from this circle center line to this vertical line the distance is 15 unit so dimension it to 15 unit now I submit ticket for a better view now go to features now is to cut now is to cut now is to cut it now press ok so this is cut has been done now select this circle this face now sketch now normal tweet now draw a circle here and this circle has a dimension of 20 diameter now select the expand dimension tool now you can see this circle from here to uh, sorry uh, this circle from here to this vertical line the dimension has 35 unit okay now press ok then we can see we have a horizontal line dimension from this surface so I am isometric it for better view so I am selecting this one dimension and selecting this circle and from this line the distance is 20 unit so this way I, the dimension is going to be easy so I am using the isometric view here okay uh, sorry the unit is millimeter uh, okay so this portion has been done now go to features now it's to cut now it's to cut it to through all both okay now this portion has been also done now it's time for the fillet select the fillet option from here and we have a fillet of 18 radius so fillet of 18 radius and uh, select in this line and this line now press ok so fillet has been done quite well now let's go back to our sketch in our sketch now we have to draw this portion and for drawing this portion and uh, we can select this back face okay uh, or you can still take a plane offset plane here as you want so I'm, I will select this back face and from that back face I we can see we have a circular profile and this big circular profile has a radius of 12 unit then <coughs> then we can see and this big circular profile uh, has a distance uh, this distance is 15 unit and a vertical distance of 60 unit then we will from this point I will draw a tangent line here and I will draw another tangent line here then I will close this shape then I will trim this extra portion then I'll, we can see we have another extrude cut circle in the uh, middle we, uh, in, in the previous center of the circle so I will draw extrude cut circle here and this extrude cut circle has a dimension of 15 uh, diameter okay then we can see it has extrude boss of 15 unit so as this is a symmetrical geometry so as we have this portion in here we are assuming that we have the same portion in the back side of this side okay because it is a symmetrical drawing and so i am selecting i am rotating here and selecting this back face now sketch now normal tweet now i am doing again normal tweet now now select the circle and place the circle here and draw a circle of 12 radius so it will be a circle of 12 radius multiplied by 2 24 unit so i am taking a circle uh, for for easy to uh, sketch now selecting is my dimension and from this circle to this vertical and distance will be 60 unit okay and from this circle to from this vertical line the horizontal distance will be 15 unit okay this portion has been done now select the line tool and place the point here and draw a tangent line okay so so i'm zooming it here and we can see we have drawn a tangent line so this tangent line has been drawn okay now again select a line tool and place a line here and draw another horizontal tangent line and now you can zoom out and close the shape so the shape has been closed now you can select the trim option because we don't need this extra portion of the circle now select the circle tools again and uh, we need to draw need to draw a extra cut circle inside and this extra cut circle has a di diameter of 15 diameter 
now I select it for a better view now go to features now start boss now start boss it to uh, 15 unit now reverse the direction now press ok now this portion has been quietly done now we as this is a symmetrical drawing we are assuming we have the same portion in this back side also so I am selecting the front plane now select the mirror entities and the front planes will be selected automatically as the mirror face now the features to be mirror I want to mirror this is to boss uh, boss is to two portion now press ok now you can rotate you can see we have the same portion is here because it is the isometric view only that's why the uh, this sketch is blocking in our main sketch here uh, main sketch here but as it is uh, a isometric drawing so we are assuming we have the same drawing here also okay so as you can see we have drawn our 3d sketch thank you for watching till the end Thanks for watching and keep learning. Be different.